Hi everyone, I'm Theo and this is my Colour Sound Bass Fuzz. As some of you know, I'm a mark for Colour Sound. I've had a bunch of their pedals and there's something about them that I love. It's not just the tone, I love the oversized enclosures and the comic book-like graphics. This might well be the fourth or fifth Colour Sound Bass Fuzz I've owned and truly I have a love-hate relationship with it uh, that I'll explain at the end of the video. Uh, what you need to know is that it was designed by Dick Denny of the Vox AC30 and is a take on the Colour Sound Jumbo Tone Bender, but with more gain and a wider EQ scope. My signal chain for this today is my Squire Precision Bass going into my Boss RC3 Loop Station, into the Bass Fuzz, and then into my Moore Radar, which is providing a low-pass filter at 5kHz and a high-pass filter at 30Hz. Then into my audio interface, so you're getting a relatively uncolored impression of the pedal with it still sounding somewhat natural. I'll give you some of my clean tone first and we'll take it from there. That was finger style, so I'm going to try something with a pick now.
So my problems with the Color Sound Bass Fuzz are also what I love about it. It's got a super powerful low end and a great top end bite. As you could probably see, I can move that tone control all the way up to about probably about three o'clock and still have quite a powerful low end coming through. But all this bass and treble means there isn't a lot of mid range to help you keep your place in a mix. And you just kind of blend into the background when you're playing with like a full band and you kick this on. I like my fuzzes to keep standing out when everyone else is playing too. Otherwise, why bother with it? If it's just going to fade into the background, then do I need to step on a fuzz unless it's just being soloed by itself? What I might actually do with this one is got, get my mate Mike at Life is Unfair Audio to do a tone bypass switch, which would bypass tone control entirely and introduce more mids and more volume. Uh, what you might notice there is on a lot of the settings... Uh, the volume control was maxed, and even then it doesn't get to unity gain. Now, I, I feel like that was not an issue with the original uh, color sound bass fuzzes that didn't have the LED and the power supply. However, I think it's a small compromise. I, the tones I want, I can definitely get unity gain out of it. Um, so, yeah. Every other color sound bass fuzz I've owned was in an even wider enclosure. Similar size to a super tone bender, and this model is not a small enclosure. Like, I'll just, as an example, here's my hand. It's massive. And the old ones were like half a size wide, uh, if that makes sense, just a bit wider. Um... So you're going to have to build your pedal board around certainly the old color sound bass fuzz. And yeah, kind of this, depending on the size of your pedal board, if you're trying to go for something compact you can carry in one hand, then don't expect to fit a lot of other pedals on your board. Um, although, uh, to be honest, I still think it looks great. I love the way it looks. I love these super big enclosures. I love the old electroharmonics stuff as well. Honestly, not really a problem. I even love the super wide enclosure. The older bass uh, the older bass fuzzes I've owned were not only wider, but didn't have a status LED or input for a power supply. So it was only battery only. So it was only battery only. It was battery only, and you had to listen out for when it was on. Which, to be honest, isn't hard. You know when a fuzz pedal's on. Um, this new version adds both of those features, but I do feel like it's a bit quieter than the old ones. Overall, the Color Sound Bass Fuzz will always be special to me, and I just know that if I sell this one, then I'll just end up buying another one down the line. As I said, I've owned like four or five of them now. They keep going, and then they keep coming back. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then drop me a like, subscribe for new videos every week, and go follow me on Instagram if you want to see some pretty pictures. Have a great week. Take care. Bye.